Grand Old Partisan celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I honor Catherine Ortega, born July 16, 1934. A bank teller in her teens, she studied business and economics at Eastern New Mexico University. Relocating to Los Angeles, the ambitious CPA joined a prestigious accounting firm and later became California's first female bank president. Ortega returned home in 1977 to work for the family accounting firm, which would thrive under her stewardship. She credited her father, a lifelong Republican, for being, quote, born a Republican. Her political involvement started with volunteering for the re-election campaign of Senator Pete Domenici. In 1983, President Ronald Reagan nominated Ortega to be Treasurer of the United States. She replied, quote, President Reagan, by appointing me as treasurer of this wonderful country of ours, you have provided an inspiration to women and to members of the Hispanic community. Many will take encouragement that, yes, it is possible to work and to attain the many opportunities available in our country. Ortega delivered the keynote address for the 1984 Republican National Convention. Quote, I believe in President Reagan and in what he stands for. I believe in our president not because I am a woman, not because I am of Hispanic heritage, but above all because I am an American. I am an American who loves her country and all it stands for. President George H. Bush renominated Ortega for treasurer. He later appointed her alternate representative to the United Nations General Assembly. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandolpartisan.com.